Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I wasn't really planning on making a YouTube video today. I really felt compelled to make this video about the young lady called Sasha Johnson who was shot in the head. Before I move on, I'm going to read this article and this pretty much explains everything. So here we go. Five men have been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder over the shooting of black equal rights activist Sasha Johnson. The 27-year-old Oxford graduate is fighting for her life in hospital after being injured at a party in Peckham, South East London, in the early hours of Sunday. The Metropolitan Police said that officers detained three teenagers and two older men on suspicion of other offences before they were all also arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. The first suspect, a 17-year-old boy, was held on suspicion of possession of an offensive weapon and drug dealing on Tuesday afternoon. Police then raided an address in Peckham where they arrested three men aged 18, 19 and 28 on suspicion of a fray and possession with intent to supply Class B drugs. A fifth man aged 27 was arrested later that evening following a car chase, also in Peckham on suspicion of a fray and failing to stop for police. All five have also since been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. Detective Chief Inspector Richard Leonard said, while the investigation remains in its early stages, these arrests show that progress is being made. However, I would continue to appeal to those who may hold information about the event that led to Sasha receiving her horrific injuries or about those responsible to do the right thing and to come forward and speak to the police. Mother of two, Miss Johnson was at a party in the back garden of a home in Consort Road when four men in dark clothing burst in and shots were fired. A man aged in his 20s suffered a superficial knife injury as the violence erupted but was not seriously hurt. Can you imagine that this time last year we were protesting for the murders of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery and Breonna Taylor? It's only been a year since the Black Lives Matter protest took place and now here we are talking about a black woman being shot in the head not by white people but by black men. Now the reason why I'm putting emphasis on them being black men is not because I'm trying to demonize black men but because we really need to have an honest conversation about the violence that goes on within the black community. When I first heard this story I assumed that she was shot by white people because of the fact that she was an activist. I know I'm probably going to get angry white people in the comment section down below saying things like how dare you automatically assume that white people were behind this. How racist is that? We cannot sit here and act as though black people who speak out against systemic racism don't risk being a target. There are countless examples of black people who have been wrongfully imprisoned, ostracized, harmed or killed for taking a stand against white supremacy. So if you want to be in denial, go right ahead. Not only do you risk being attacked by white people, you also risk being attacked by white identified black people. When I speak about race, I'm told by other black people that what I'm saying is divisive, or not all, or they'll say that I'm being racist towards white people. I guess the reason why I wanted to make this video is because one, it needs to be spoken about and two, we really need to call out the BS that goes on within the black community across the board. I'm going to start off by saying this, you cannot scream black lives matter but then are quick to harm, kill or abuse another black person. This is just not how it works. I know that black people, we tend to get annoyed when white people bring up black on black crime in order to deflect away from their own prejudice, which is comprehensible, but this is something we do need to talk about. Have you guys noticed that when white people kill each other, it's just called crime, but when black people kill each other, it's called black on black crime? When Sarah Everard was murdered by that monster cop, they did not bring up race once. Moreover, notice how all women were standing in solidarity for Sarah who got murdered. Why aren't all women standing in solidarity for Sasha who got shot in the head? That just proves that black women and white women don't have the same struggle just because we're both women. If people saw black women as women first and not black, we would have the same treatment as white women, but that's just not the case. Going back to the whole you can't be for black lives yet assist in the destruction of your own race, which I strongly believe in. And what I mean by this is, say you're a black man who goes out to protest for the lives of black people, but you're going out to kill other black men. That makes no sense. And the same thing goes for black women. We go on and on about how we're the most disrespected group, yet are quick to drag other black women, especially when we're trying to defend black men who in some cases 
aren't even worth defending. I believe this is what they call male identified or a pick me. If you're a black person who steals from another black person, you most definitely are not for the liberation of black people. There was a story that happened in the States about a black woman who opened up a hair shop only to have her bundle stolen by a black man and a black woman. I think there were a couple. It's like, you know how hard it is for black people to succeed in a system that was built to see them fail. So why are you now stealing from another black person's business, being fully aware of how hard they had to graft in order to get to the position that they're currently in? If you're a black man who talks about the liberation of black people, yet you're beating on your wife, cheating on her and disrespecting her, you are not for black people. Well, you most definitely aren't for black women, I'll tell you that. And vice versa. The point I'm trying to make is, we as black people look half-witted, asking white people to spare our lives, yet we're taking each other out one by one. And also, I don't want to hear people using the whole, but if you're only exposed to black people, then of course a crime committed towards you will most likely be in the hands of a black person, because even that's not okay. So, you know, let's not do that, because I don't appreciate black people especially using that as an excuse. Regardless of who shot her, this should not have happened. This story once again goes on to show how dangerous the world can be if you're a black woman. For those of you who are about to all lives matter this by saying that this is an every woman problem and that race has nothing to do with it. Okay, so why aren't all women rushing to the streets and protesting for Sasha the way they did Sarah? I remember watching a panel discussion on YouTube and a lady on there said you cannot be a black person who oppresses another black person and think you'll gain anything, which I agree with. Yes, I do think black people can oppress other black people. And the reason I think this is because of the fact that there is a hierarchy in the black community. There's colorism, misogynoir. If you're in a higher position, then you will most likely have more power over someone. S Say if we're talking about the workplace, you know, your boss is in a higher position than you. It doesn't mean that he's better than you. It just means that because of the power he possesses, he can get away with bullying you or making your life hell. But at the same time, I don't want people thinking that I'm implying that a black person who oppresses can't also be oppressed as well, because that's not true. Light skinned people, or they, they do experience racism, just like dark skinned people, they are in a higher position than dark-skinned people, giving them the power to oppress dark-skinned people. And the same thing with patriarchy. My prayers go out to Sasha and her family. I really do hope that they get the justice that they deserve. What happened to her was not right. It was not ethical. She was just minding her own business at a house party when she was shot. And this is a bit of deja vu because wasn't Brianna Taylor just sleeping in her bed when she was shot as well? So we really don't have to do anything to warrant being shot at this point. All we have to do is be sleeping or just chilling at a house party. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening. If you liked this, then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you the next time I make a video. Bye.